back again guys I uh, just want to give you a bit of an update here on the, the stereo that I'm uh, installing today over as you can see there that's the the firewall plug get around over to here a little bit better there we go I've installed the firewall plug there was already a hole in the firewall which is great as you can see I've got uh, two big three-quarter, well there's one three-quarter washer. Let me just pan back a little bit, you can see the cable runs back up to here. It's uh, not connected yet, so let's run back over to here. You can see there's the end of it. I'm not connecting anything as yet. But uh, we come back over to here, to the inline fuse, as you can see right there. And what I did, is pop this little puppy out. Great little modification. That easy to pop it out with one hand. But there you go, as you can see, that's the uh, the cap off the fuse box. And all I did was mount it here. I put two holes in it. As you can see, got two bolts, washers, spring washers. Washers there, got the spring washers on either side, and it fits perfectly. Let's come back over the top over here. Got the fuse box, you can see I've got a gap on the left hand side and a gap there in the middle. Yeah, there's the middle, and you've got a gap that's not going to focus over there on the left hand side. I spaced the two, uh, the two bolts go down to that, into that little space and came out perfectly so there we go, it's got the inline fuse and as you can see when I put it back in no problem getting it back in boom one hand <laughs> she clips in absolutely perfect so uh, you got your other cable here so I'm going to just come back around over to here and it's all linked in already. We just slide her in there and tighten her up. Clip her down. There we go. Tighten her up. And I've made it so the fuse is on this side, just here. So I can, if the fuse blows, it's no problem. And as you can see here, I've got exactly the right amount of cable right length that way or over that way it's not really going to make much difference that way there or that way there it's exactly the right length and where I've got it going through the firewall back down in there as you can see let me just pop around to the inside of the car oh, yeah. a lot of the loose cable I've got all these little these little cables here I'm gonna to have to drill another hole because these were through that hole but as you can see if we duck back up into here as she comes through the cable through the firewall like that there's the other washer I'm gonna tighten it from this side and I can tighten it from the other side it's absolutely perfect where I'm going to run it through to next hopefully is uh, up high somewhere along there and we come back over to here where the ECU is now in behind the ECU there's a hole in the w in the wall I'm gonna run hopefully I'm gonna run that cable back through the hole and then back up the pillar all the way up there back across the top as you can see there's a the top we go back right across the top and back in through here it should fit, hopefully. I've already tested it with a coat hanger. There's nothing blocking anything down there. But, you know, there's a very big difference between a coat hanger and an 8 gauge wire. So, uh, that's what I've done so far. I'm going to try and clean this up a little bit in here. I'm not going to leave the wiring in like this as, as it is now. I'll just take the wiring out and uh, see if I can feed it through the, uh, up through the pillar. Let's see how it goes.